Hello everyone, this is Latasha Blanton from the Real South Africa Travel and Tourism. And you're gonna have the opportunity to travel with Phil Scott to... Sunny South Africa. You guys are gonna have the opportunity to come to Johannesburg and you guys are gonna be coming to Durban. And we're gonna set it up perfectly. It's gonna be like a luxury experience for you guys. At the same time, you're gonna be getting some culture. And of course, you're gonna get an opportunity to talk to Phil, hang out with Phil, and get his views on Africa and South Africa. You're also going to get an opportunity to explore the lifestyles here that are available in South Africa. And we're going to do all that for you in an amazing 10 days. We do hope that you go to the website and book because we do look forward to seeing you here. Absolutely. Our website is therealsouthafrica.com. Go there, scroll down. You'll see a picture of Phil and just go ahead and book there. So we'll see you here in what we like to call sunny, sunny South, South Africa. Africa. There was a black family that was traveling and stayed at a home of suites and they was accused, you know, by a Karen that's a manager of trying to steal a dog on TV from a hotel. Let's go ahead and roll that. Me and my sister is in Warner Robins, Georgia. I'm here because I'm going to go pick up my three year old from Chicago. I'm here because I need to get some rest. We brought Kanan with us because Donnie has to work. We, I took him with me, got the, his kennel, and my sister, mind you, the lady watched us bring this kennel inside the hotel. Didn't say nothing to this, the same girl that checked my mama in. My sister walks out with the kennel into the front desk. She watched my sister walk out. Is that a TV? Did y'all steal a TV? Yeah. 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 So that's we just I'm just pissed right now. It's okay. No, you assume, but you see her walk out with a case. So don't even try that. You tried that. Don't don't even do it. No, it's not. It's, she see her walk out with the case, and you just assume it was a TV. Like, let's be for real. You know what? From a distance, I don't. I couldn't say. Yeah, you're right. She's right there in the front desk. So you can't. You mean to tell me? Look, I can't, Man. I can't say one way or another what she saw. What she saw is what she saw and what she reported. Okay. Oh, uh, but uh, I can prove that it's a dog game. So we know it's not a dog game. Hey, hey, hush, 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 hush. You're okay. What? Well, yeah, you're putting in his two cents. Mm, okay. I'm, no, you good. I'm not. It's just. We about to head out. Yeah, we're about to check out. Yeah, we're going to go on the road. Now, how does a dog kennel and a TV even look the same? That big old dog walking around that they have, and you call the police saying they're trying to steal your RCA TV. I, who wants to steal from, from a hotel, uh, steal a TV anyway from a hotel? TVs are so cheap these days. Man, you can get a, a big 60, 70 inch these days for about much or nothing. So why, why do they need to steal from y'all? They were just on the road, they need to get some rest, they stayed there and they try to go on by their business. You call the cops, the cops come out there, see what's up. Nothing was going on. See, when, when they do things like that to y'all, y'all need to sue every single time. Black folks need, and going into 2024, you need to get your lawsuit game on. Lawsuit, lawsuit, lawsuit. And the reason why you need to start filing more and more lawsuits is because it's, it's important that you let these companies know that you're not going to play with them that they got to treat you with respect. They can't falsely accuse you of stealing, you know, defamation of character and all of that. We need to have, be filing civil suits on these companies. It's very, very important to do so. Because see, people do this to black folks because they feel that we won't sue them and drain their pockets. No, you start draining their pockets and their business insurance keep getting hit up. Oh, trust me, they gonna, they gonna fix it real quick. I told you the way you make racism stop is that you make racism costly. Whether it's a loss of job, lawsuits, make it costly. That's the only thing they understand is some sort of loss. When they lose their job or when they have to be paying out lawsuits, 
then it's something you can film all day. You can report them all day. Fine. But until somebody lose something, that's the only time they get it in their head. This is why even with us, we will focus on going into 2024, pushing our African diaspora news channel app. That's very important that we're pushing because we want to make sure that we are always on, you know, going to be completely independent. That's our goal in 2024. And we want y'all to come join us there on the app. You can download it, iOS, Apple store, Google play. You can join a membership. Those memberships that you join on the app helps us support the platform. We don't know what we're going to have on these platforms. We don't know. YouTube could turn our water off at any moment. You know, we had got hacked one time. The channel was gone. Now we didn't have the, uh, uh, the part manager we had at the time. We wouldn't be talking to you on this channel. Right. Uh, we still have a lot of, uh, um, video that we have in the vault that we're going to start slowly releasing out on the app, uh, that I took down from the channel or some that you probably haven't seen. Uh, we're going to be putting that out. Uh, we got a lot of ideas that we're going to be putting on the app that's not coming to YouTube. So you definitely want to be on the app. Our goal is to get 10,000 members in 2024, 10,000. And I know we can, there's 10,000 people that say, you know what? I can support that. I want to make sure that they're completely independent and they can keep going. Right. I know that. So, so that's why I'm calling those things out uh, as though they were right. But we got us always support, you know, what we like, because if you let the folks stay in control of everything, then they can snatch it away at, at, at any time. We have to do that. Even when it comes to things like hotels, we got to open up our own hotels. Also, we got to do that as a people. We, that's what our ancestors did. We all had our own ownership means control. You don't own, you don't control. It's just that simple. And that's what we're pushing here. Ownership and control. Uh, anything that we have, we need to own and control going into 2024. That should be our mindset. Owning, controlling. If you don't own, you don't control. No matter what somebody let you do, you don't control. Even when you renting a place to stay, you don't own it. They allow you to stay there. That's why they can raise your rent and do whatever. Cause they own it and they control it. That's why we got to get our people out of apartments and into single family homes. So you can own and control your home. But let me know what y'all think about this. And we'll thank everybody for joining us on the app It's great. I greatly appreciate that. I've seen a lot of people starting to come in. It's beautiful to see that. And I know we will be able to hit our goal. We're going to keep pushing. And, uh, you know, our goal next year is to expand the brand that that's our campaign and goal. We're going to be going to multiple platforms, doing ad campaigns and different things. Uh, so we can bring some more people in, you know, cause we got some new people that need to come in and need to hear this message all over America and throughout the world. So, um, I appreciate the sister that sent me this video. Cause like I said, she sent it directly to me and we reporting on it. So send, keep sending them in and we a lot of times jump 